Los Angeles. City of Angels, home to has-beens, wannabes, and colorful characters like Bobby. How do you get that body? Sex. And her friend, Blue. That looks terrible. Just make it look like I'm yeah. 12. Yeah. Oh, and their friend, Athena. Kelly Clarkson. And let's not forget their other friend, Charisse. You got the uh, maitre d' because I don't like this table. No doubt, these four lovely ladies are soul sisters. I've been fighting with them so bad for the past two days, I went psycho. You can tell. <laughs> Just listen. It's over. Why are you still having sex with him? Because I'm horny? I just want to throw up a little bit in my mouth. You see? You have to love someone to be that mean. Really? Oh! Yes, these girls have seen some great times together. <laughs> hey, shut it. Stop. Now, I'm trying to talk. Just isn't one of them. So how did it get this way? How did these beautiful, mature women become best frenemies? I can't even hear it anymore. For that, we have to start at the beginning. Go back a year or two. Or three. Or 20. Los Angeles in the late 80s. The hair was big, the boobs were big, but nothing was bigger than hair bands. They were rock gods, and they acted like it. Of course, not everyone could be a shaggy rock god, but a select few could be something better. The women they wanted. Beautiful women and rock bands went together like spandex and cowboy boots. For the guys, it was how they kept score. And for the ladies? There was a certain position based on who had the most ridiculously hot chick. We would dance on the speakers at clubs. It was fun. It was a ride. And if you had a lot going on, you became a rock wife. Basically, a rock star liked it, so he put a ring on it. And that's exactly what happened to Athena. I was married for 14 years to James Kotak of the Scorpions. Athena also knows another drummer from the day. My brother is Tommy Lee of Motley Crue. Again! Athena is a female, gorgeous, amazing version of Tommy. She says it like it is. She's just an extremely interesting to be with. It was through her brother that Athena met Motley Crue's lead singer, Vince Neil, and his lovely wife, Charisse. Charisse Neal was the queen bee. She was definitely where the party was happening. The first time I ever met Charisse was on the set of the Girls, Girls, Girls video. She was a stripper. Unfortunately, we can't show Charisse in the video. You could say things between Charisse and Vince didn't end all that well. His lifestyle was my lifestyle, lucky for me, and unlucky for me because his lifestyle was also other women when I wasn't around. Did not know that. But had it not been for Vince's love of humanity, Charisse would have never met her best friend, Bobby. Vince came over to me with his entourage and hit on me, basically, and his wife was there. She was so aghast that she walked over to me and said, hi, I'm Bobby. It was the start of a beautiful friendship. She took my breath away. She was so freaking beautiful. There was like a light on her. It was like, oh, Bobby. She was so gorgeous that you just wanted to hate her. In fact, you might remember Bobby. And if you were a teenage boy in the 90s, you'd have a hard time forgetting. Certainly this guy couldn't. This is Janie Lane, the lead singer of Warrant. His band wrote such hits as Cherry Pie and Heaven, songs with seemingly innocent titles that are mostly about getting with girls. And Janie definitely wanted to get with Bobby. He was a dork. I had no interest in him whatsoever. He had a camel toe. Despite this, she married him anyway. And they were together for about the length of a warrant song. After Bobby dumped camel toe, she was engaged to Athena's brother, Tommy. And it might have been great, except... I introduced Tommy to Pam. Yes, that Pam. Four days later, they were married. Lucky for Bobby, she never introduced Tommy Lee to her other friend, Blue. Blue is married to Jerry Dixon, the bass player from Warrant. I like to call him the Unipro. Which is how she met Bobby, which is how she met Cherise, which is how she met Athena. For these four ladies, being in the Rock Wives Club was the best thing in the world. It was also the worst thing. Had I known what Vince was really like, I would have never even given him my number. Now I'm super happily divorcing his ass. It's nice to be the life of the party, but the funny thing about parties, they end, and you usually wake up with a hangover and a big mess. Aging sucks. You used to be so beautiful, I know what happened. But the ladies have sobered up, and now they're on a mission. Not to have things as great as they used to, mind you, but maybe something better. These are ex-wives of rock. Coming up, 
meet the loved ones. If you are not up in 30 seconds, I'm gonna cut you off. Right, I'm getting oh, and the not so loved. You have a $2,000 order here, Sharice, for 8.30. Why would you not make it? This is the story of Athena, Sharice, Bobby, and Blue. Oh! Four best friends who all made the same choice. We married rock stars. With pretty much the same consequences. Divorced. 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 Now, these ex-wives of rock are out to prove there is life after the party. I was married 14 miserable years. Now I'm super happily divorcing his ass. Athena may want to set her rock star hubby on fire. It feels yeah. good. But she burns with undying love for her three kids. I have some amazing kids. Totally my fault that they're so awesome. Toby is my oldest. A lot of times I just call her Toby! 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 Just to freak her out. Let's just be sluts. Sometimes I feel like my mom is like a sister, kind of, because I don't have any sisters. Whoopsies. She's like my best friend. Guys love Toby. <laughs> She's got this little tiny figure with these bam boots. Hey, where did that big ass cookie sheet go? There it is. Hang on. Hang on. Miles is 18, and he's a monster drummer. This goes in the salad, right? Yeah, just keep slicing them like that. Do you think if your friends saw you cooking with your mom, they'd, you'd lose street cred? Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, that's, that's, that's enough, that's enough, that's enough. All right, I'll get your toss on. Chicks love guys that cook. Guys that cook get laid. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go hang out by myself now. Then there's Maddie. Hey, it's ready! He is 14. And he's our video game slash comedian of the family. Are you gonna play Wii with us? Wee Wee? He's going through a lot just like we all are. But the more I try to talk to him, the more it gets weird. You sure? The kids are dealing with the divorce way better than I am. I'm very proud of myself. I would love nothing more than to stick a broom up their dad's butt. But hey, it's all good. I was married to Vince for seven years. That's pretty good. That's like 100 years in rock years. I had a two-week-old baby. My friend calls me. She's at the Rainbow, and she said that Vince is there with a girl. I went to the Rainbow, and somebody must have told him that I was there. And as I went in the front door, he went out the back. Cheating hubby slips out the back door. Not so good. No, uh -uh. I had to ride away. Leaving cheating hubby and starting your own clothing business, though, is kind of great. I've been in this business for 11 years. Can I get this hot pink? I sell to over 500 stores across America. This little roll of leopard. Which is not to say her life is carefree. Did we not discuss what you're gonna do? You're not making any of these exact amounts. You're making more. This guy is Sharice's business partner. A lot of these things I already told you about. Now you're bringing it back to me like I never discussed it with you. We don't really get along all the time. You have a $2,000 order here, Sharice, for 8.30. Why would you not make it? You don't like money? Makes for an interesting business environment. That can be a problem, since Kirk is also her ex-boyfriend. Oh, and the father of her eight-year-old son, Colt. You wanna go to the pool? Yeah. Why? Okay, so Kirk, Colt, who are we missing? I have a new boyfriend. Right. There's a bug. I don't want a bug in my food. Well, quit smacking them over the food. It's covering. Oh, this is protein. You're fine. No. His name is Brandon. He treats me like a princess, good Southern gentleman, in the Southern drawl. He makes me really happy. So life sounds pretty good for Sharice. And in a funny way, it may not have happened if Vince Neal hadn't slipped out the back door. He couldn't even get my number now. No way. Hun, sweetie, what are you doing back in bed? I'm a wife. If you are not up in 30 seconds, I'm gonna cut you off. All right, I'm getting up. I'm a mother. I just bought you brand new shoes. Why are you wearing those? These are special shoes. And I'm a pole dance instructor. Yes, Blue loves to work the pole. And her wealthy new husband, Trip approves. Car. Where have you been? I have my rice. routine. I never thought I would ever get married again after Jerry. Boy, that man just knocked my socks off. You're welcome, honey. Completing this picture of family harmony is Grady, Blue's teenage son from her marriage to Jerry Dixon of Warrant. Tell me about your day. We had a uh, band practice for a little while. We worked on a new song. Let me see it. This is your, like, a fan page or something? This is the MySpace page. 
I can't understand the... This is our slow song. Oh, no wonder you're not my friend on MySpace. He's transitioning into this man, and he's got this drive to become a musician. Taking the path of the lead singer, my biggest fear come true. I'm hoping that that's a phase and that it will pass. You told me when I was 10 that that would drive you to the grave. It I would, joined a band. Yeah, and you've done it anyway. Clearly, you are trying to kill me. Despite Grady's efforts to disappoint her to death, things are all right for Blue. About her biggest crisis at the moment is moving from her big house in the hills to an even bigger house in the hills. Hi there, yes, I'm calling up to inquire about a move. I am absolutely at the end of my rope. I need a lot of help, I need a lot of people, I need supervisors. I don't want to say that I'm neurotic, but, well, everything I have really is priceless. Let's schedule something for someone to come out ASAP. Thank, Thank you. you so much. So Blue is moving on up. And Bobby, well, she's moving too just in a different direction. The engagement to Tommy broke, then he married Pamela Anderson four days later. It was a really bad time in my life. Today, Bobby is unemployed, in her 40s, and living in a one-bedroom apartment with her dog. You don't like that one? So picky. But all that's about to change. You see, Bobby's boyfriend, Damon, has asked her to move in with him. There's just one problem. Lies, deception, cheating, addictions, I mean, you name it, it's been crazy. Actually, there's two problems. He's currently in rehab. But on the other hand... The sex is great. So moving in, it is. Oh, God. That's crazy, right? Having a relationship with somebody that runs around on you and... Well, yeah, he always picks the wrong Disappoints you and all that kind of stuff. And sobriety has done fabulous things for his personality and his feelings and all those things, so I... I mean, I, I guess I'm gonna have to give it a shot and then just, this will be the last shot, you know? If it doesn't work out, then that's just the final blow. Gotta look at all the positive things here. I you're know. You're beautiful, you're smart, you have a good body. I, I know, mean, well. Really, I would do you. Mom. Coming up. What is this? This is lubricant. The ex-wives never fail to make it awkward. This makes you sad, it makes you cry. We have great sex. In their 20s, these four ladies were rock wives. Champagne fell from the skies and the red carpet came out. In their 40s, however? Divorced. 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 But just because their lives may not be quite as glamorous doesn't mean they're any less interesting. Of the four of us, I'm the most together. And for someone as together as Blue, moving to a new house should be a breeze. I just feel so overwhelmed. Or a crisis of epic proportion. I'm feeling very much like I need a spa day right now. When Blue needs a spa day, you know things are bad. I am entering the ninth realm of hell. Oh my God, what a nightmare this is gonna be. I am extremely organized, particularly in my closet. Dresses, designer, styles, color. I would like to pack all the bustiers together. And then, you know, we get to the shoes, the most important thing in the closet. All the platforms are gonna be at the top, and then the Louboutins, the Manolos, the Jimmy Choo's are gonna be in the center so we can obviously showcase them. I'll start, I'll with, start with jewelry, you start with shoes. Okay. Oh, this is Gloria, Blue's maid. She's completely faithful to Blue, but no one's perfect. I found this over there, but I don't know, I don't know what it is. Gloria is amazing. You don't know what this is? No. I couldn't imagine my life without her. It, it was for the it, shoes. It, 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 but it, she is a little bit naive. This is lubricant. For the sex. Yeah. Exactly, it's for the sex. You can also use it to rub this down, or you could also use this for a night of pleasure with Anthony. OK, Mom. <laughs> I'm meeting Bobby for lunch today. Mwah. It's been a while, and we need to catch up. Isn't this place cute? We should come here at night on a double date. Double date? I'm, yeah. I'm with not my with boyfriend. That, not with that guy. Bobby has a boyfriend. I call him the a-hole. Year after year, all I hear is awful things about this guy. Are you moving in with him? Did I hear a rumor? No, it's not a rumor. Why? What, what's good about him? Tell me we that. We have a good uh, camaraderie. He's from Louisiana. We have great sex. That's it. It's a big deal. <laughs> she sinks her teeth into someone. She will not let go. He makes you sad. He makes you cry. He, he has never. Made me sad. You don't never say that you're ever happy. I haven't. Been, I haven't been very happy. Yeah, he's been a total dick, but 
Um, so he's what? different. You're lying to me. You're lying. If I'm going to be nice to him, he has to make it up to you like 5,000 times in front of my face. Otherwise, I'm going to be mean and I'm going to be sour to him. I still love him. I mean, I think I still love him. I heard you're getting your tattoo redone. This is the one that me and Dad got matching in Russia. So I'm going to unmatch mine. So every time I look at it, I don't have to look at his. You're not going to get removed, right? No, no. She's just going to work around it. Then I won't have any scars left. And Zero no matching signs of dad. tattoos. <laughs> no signs of shames. Deej is Christ. How's it going, Mama? <laughs> My tattoo girl is Deej. I call her Deej is Christ because she's like kind of a savior to me. This is like. The last tattoo I have. The matching. Yeah, and I want to ditch it. Anything so it doesn't look like that. Ready? Yeah. All right. Your relationship with your tattoo artist is like your relationship with your hairdresser, only way harsher. Our house is different now. Everybody's actually starting to laugh again. And like a rebirth. Yeah, it's like the bitter elephant in the room's gone. Do you feel like you have to disinfect your life? Yeah, I can't even imagine having another boyfriend right now. You're just bring in your funk. Right, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta go get one. Go figure it out, you go fix yourself first. Now that the last tattoo's gone, I feel cleansed, baptized, so to speak. I have no, no more to come. No shame. No more shame. <laughs> no more shame. I love it. By covering the tattoo, I'm ending that era and opening a new one. Coming up, some kids can't be fooled. Why don't you like Bobby? Because she says bad words. What the f is wrong with her? Actually, that's one of the reasons. Adults, on the other hand. My girlfriend went out with them a couple times. No, she did not. They had sex. That's it. Once. OK. Athena, Charisse, Bobby, and Blue. Woo! Four beautiful women with lives full of promise until one fateful day. They married rock stars. Now I'm super happily divorcing his ass. And they've been paying for it ever since. It was excellent until it was crappy. The most important thing, they're best friends. We're very much a support group for each other. Hey, shut it. Stop. No, baby, stop. stop. I'm trying to talk. Tonight, the support group's meeting at Charisse's for drinks before dinner. But first, Charisse needs to run it past her roommate. Is that okay? Maybe. It's Bobby. We're going to hang out and talk. Bobby! Why don't you like Bobby? I'd rather have Athena come. Well, why don't you like Bobby? Tell me why, because she says bad words? Well, actually, that's one of the reasons. What about Athena? What is she? Hippie freak. Why is she a hippie freak? Uh, I'm mistaken. That's blue. Then what's Athena? Crazy. Hi! Hey! Hippie hey! freaks here. Oh Crazy ladies in the hizzle. From your yard. <laughs> From your garden. You. But Bobby's MIA. She was an hour and a half late to her own Shut wedding. Up. How very Axel Rose of her. Oh, there's Bobby. Mm, awesome. Can we hit it? What up, Hold that. Good. We match, we match. So what, do you remember when you were an hour and a half late for your wedding? Blue griped about Bobby's lateness for another 20 minutes, making them late for the restaurant reservation. I've been dying to ask you about Brandon. Uh, wow, when did that even happen? I'm my birthday party. He's like the sweetest, most amazing guy. He's just like 100% in. He's great with my kid. I have my doubts about Brandon. My girlfriend went out with him a couple times. No, she did not. Or they had sex. That's it. Once. And then she tried to, no, once. Yes. No, once. OK. He dated a friend of mine before Sharice. She pointed out some things that weren't, didn't make sense or add up or whatever. He never took her to dinner. He never took her no, to he drinks. Didn't. No, he didn't. Stop oh. it. What is Stop it. So, Athena, have you started dating yet? Not seriously. I don't, I can't even get there. It's too soon. Do your That's thing. Okay. Uh, how long were you married to him? 14 years together, 20 years. Wow. A long time. He chose to just like start banging some chick. Listen to how I found out. He drunk Skyped our daughter uh -huh. with her in the f***ing room. What? The other girl? Yeah. That's what that's you tell you your kid? Out, that's how you come out with all your bullshit. You drunk Skype your daughter. I know exactly what she's going through, and I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy. Wow. That's more sympathy than they have for Bobby. How are you back with him, Bobby? How are you back with that guy? No, he's sober and has been, and it's done a complete 360. And we're gonna try and make it work. They could be right. I could be totally wrong. And in that moment, 
I, they can say, I told you so. But for right now, I want them to support my decision because they're my friend. I'm giving it my last shot, and I want them to support me, not bring me down in my hope. Obviously, I love him, otherwise I wouldn't be still here. Yeah. So where's your man been? Your man's been away. He's been traveling a lot. Why? a lot. That's hard. But we have a great bond. You guys, I'm so in love awesome. with this man. I've Good never met a more compassionate, genuine, generous, for the greater good of everyone around them. Uh, enough already. And he is so incredibly patient with me. Good. I'm happy for you. Be quiet. It's because you walk I'm around the house in a bikini and, and high heels. <laughs> he encouraged me to do that. Yeah, I bet he did. <laughs> I bet he did. When we talk to each other, we don't sugarcoat anything. We don't need to. We get each other. Even though we're all weird in our own way, we get it. All right, I'm going to make the first toast. OK, to Bobby, my inspiration. To rekindling the fun of old friendships and the love that we have. Yeah. Drink up. So there you have it, the ex-wives of rock possibly the most delightfully dysfunctional support group in all of L.A. We're, We're back! back. We're right. Coming up this season on Ex-Wives of Rock. She thinks this guy is the love of her life. This year has been the roughest year of my life. We don't have a sister. Our dad doesn't live with us. That's the family. What proof or evidence you have that I'm milking an extra 15 minutes of fame off of my ex-husband's death? <laughs> what I am seeing is really bad. It's kind of like being sisters. When you're very close to someone, you feel like you are somewhat responsible for them. Beautiful! Perfect! That's what's happening here. Welcome back to the stage. Yeah. Ah, I'm just ready. I'm ready.